Alina Svitolina has called on the Olympics to ban Russian and Belarusian athletes. Ukrainian tennis pro Alina Svitolina has called on the International Olympic Committee to ban Russian and Belarusian athletes from the Games. The former World No. 3 won a bronze medal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and shared an emotional statement explaining why she doesn't think athletes from the two nations deserve the chance to compete when their governments were robbing innocent people and athletes of theirs. With the Paris Olympics now just over a year away, there have been increased talks over whether Russian and Belarusian athletes should be allowed to compete following the war in Ukraine. Different sports have taken different approaches to athletes from the two nations over the last year, with tennis allowing Russians and Belarusians to play as neutrals without any mention of their country or flag while Wimbledon went a step further last year and banned them entirely. And a top tennis player has now weighed in, as 16-time title winner Svitolina shared an impassioned plea calling on athletes from the two nations to be banned from competing at the Olympics. The Olympics are the biggest dream and ultimate privilege for athletes, the Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist wrote. They are the largest platform for inclusion and diversity in sports, capturing the attention of the world. With this in mind we must stick to banning Russian and Belarusian athletes. Sending a strong message worldwide, that we are united in the sanctions imposed against Russia and Belarus and that there are consequences for the heinous acts of their governments, their lives cannot continue as normal in the world, nor the Russian or Belarusian people can be ignorant of the atrocities they are committing in Ukraine. He will never fulfill his potential or dreams at the Games. So why should Russian and Belarusian athletes get their chance when their governments are robbing innocent people and athletes of their chance? Svitolina has remained outspoken about the war since her home nation was first invaded last February. The former world number three refused to play a match against Russia's Anastasia Potapova at last year's Monterey Open unless the tours took action against Russian and Belarusian players to make them neutral athletes. The ATP, WTA, ITF and four Grand Slams quickly released a statement announcing that they had taken the decision to make players from the two nations neutral with no mention of their flags or countries, and Svitolina played and won the match. The 28-year-old has now played for almost a year after announcing her pregnancy and giving birth to a daughter with fellow tennis pro Gail Monfils.